Good morning, Thursday, February 24th, 2022. Welcome to Pray With Me. We're going to pray. Um, I was just thinking about the sovereignty of God. And this morning I read in Psalm 27, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? We don't need to fear man. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Amen. And so let's pray for Ukraine and Russia. Let's pray for this weekend, Calvary Montclair Overnighter. It's not a full couples retreat. It's just a one night, one overnight retreat. But God can do a lot in one night. Amen. It's going to be a beautiful opportunity for couples to be refreshed and replenished and enjoy the Lord, enjoy each other, get some teachings and, um, you know, be refreshed. So much more we got to pray for. So let, let's just pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for this beautiful sunshine day, God. I thank you for this weather. It's gorgeous. Yesterday was white puffy clouds and drizzly. Today is clear blue skies. God, you're the God of order. You're the God of the weather. Lord, you make the sun rise and set. You bring the moon and the stars in the evening. Lord, you're, you're so good. You're the God of winter, spring, summer, and fall. Every season is under your divine command and your sovereignty, Lord Jesus. Your mercies are new every morning. We praise you. We love you. We adore you. King Jesus, I want to pray for Ukraine and Russia, Lord. I pray, dear God, for protection over children, over babies, over women, over the innocent people of Ukraine, Lord. Putin is saying that Russia des deserves Ukraine and that Ukraine is not even a nation. They don't deserve to exist. And Russia is trying to conquer them. And we see it not just as a Russia-Ukraine dilemma or a Russia-Ukraine war. We see it as part of God's, part of your dear God's timetable unfolding. As we know in the last days, Russia and Gog and Magog will come together and come against Israel. And all of these prophetic things are happening right before our eyes maranatha come quickly lord jesus we pray abba father please my king for peace and for whatever like just like my husband chuck prayed this morning however you want this to unfold let it happen so be it god so be it but we pray for the innocent we pray for those in the crossfire there's missiles being launched there's there's an all-out war on Ukraine and it's devastating so please God I just pray you would humble Russia that you would allow NATO and others to step in and just protect the innocent I don't even know how to pray Lord I'm at a loss for words God I don't know this political stuff but I know that there's a God in heaven and Jesus is his holy name hallelujah we worship you Jesus the battle doesn't belong to man the battle belongs to you Lord I pray for our president Biden and just I'm grieved that he's our president. I cannot embrace him as a president, but I will not stop praying for him. And I do pray, God, that you would wake him up, that you would shake him up, that you would put godly counsel, godly leaders around him, and that we would stand up for the rights of the innocent, Lord, for the rights of the people in Ukraine that do not deserve to suffer as they are currently, that they would be prisoners of war and or not prisoners of war refugees they'd be, they'd be able to get out of there get the innocent people out of there lord clear them out please jesus clear them out just like you parted the red sea so that um moses could lead the people on dry land clear them out jesus just do what only you could do father thank you for this prayer time thank you for being god you were good you were holy and righteous and awesome thank you for don stewart and all of those that that teach us lord about um these issues these wild issues that we need to know that we need to be aware of god um and this strife and turmoil and um preparations for war have been going on for it just, just didn't happen overnight so please god just make the crooked path straight 
be with our military, be with all of those servicemen, be with the Ukrainian military. They're tiny, Lord. Chuck was telling me this morning, Ukraine is as big as Texas and Russia is huge and they're, they're bullies. So please, God, do what only you can do. We just pray for revival in our nation. I pray for revival in Ukraine that left and right people will get saved. Oh, Lord, the battle belongs to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.